What's going on everybody, welcome back. And we're gonna talk about another holster today. And I haven't done a holster review in a while, and there's a ton of actually really good holsters out there. But I got a hold of the company, obviously you've read the title, Gerber Holsters. And I was really curious to kind of see uh, what they had out there and what they were offering. So I got a hold of them, got one of their holsters sent out to me. I did buy it, they gave me a little bit of a discount because I was gonna do a review on it. Uh, but I can tell you kind of, uh, this one I think really is a lot better than a lot of the other big names out there on the market. Just because you could tell the amount of work that went into it. Now, it's a sidecar style design, which is basically, if you guys don't know, an appendix rig, sidecar, or sidekick, or so many different names out for it, you basically have your pistol on one side and your spare magazine on another. And it's in the front of your body. That's called an appendix rig. And some people like to carry that way. Some people do not like to carry that way. Now, I really want to give you an idea of kind of how this holster wears on me. Now, I wear, I don't wear baggy clothes, but I don't wear like tight clothes. Um, just because I kind of like an intermediate style shirt or something. So I'm gonna pull this shirt a little tighter, give you kind of a front view, side view and all that. So you can kind of get a really good idea of how this is gonna fit and conceal on you. Now this specific rig I got is for my Glock 45 MOS. So I've got a Trigicon RMR on there and I have an SLR Rifle Works Magwell. That Magwell is, it's, it's a nice concealable Magwell, but it's gonna give you a little bit, probably about a quarter of an inch more girth around the base of that pistol grip, because it is a full size grip on the Glock 45, if you don't know. So not generally one of the most concealable setups, but it does conceal very nicely in this holster. Plus it can be used with a Glock 19 as well. Um, and depending on what you're carrying, um, and if it's got a very open bottom, you can actually get them to pretty much conceal a 34 through a 19 or whatever you want. So I really wanna give you guys uh, just a view of this overall, kind of show you how it's gonna wear, how it's gonna conceal. We're really gonna take a look at this up close and show you guys the fit and finish on this, because like I said, it is really, uh, really awesome fit and finish work on this to every minor little detail. And that's a huge thing when it comes into holsters. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the lens back out so we can get a wider view and just kind of show you how this wears on me. So, you know, like I said, I don't wear the baggiest clothes. I do not wear the tightest clothes. So this is just kind of a front view. Kind of get yourself a little side view right here of how things look on me from both sides. So I'm right-handed, so the magazine is here and the uh, weapon is on this side. So as I turn like this, you can kind of see where it's gonna be, where it's gonna print if it is. Same thing on this side, you get a nice little quarter turn. You can see, you're probably gonna see what is actually my belt right there stick out more than the actual grip of the firearm. But like I said, you know, as I'm wearing this, I'll give you a look at my flabs here real quick. Those of you guys that don't know, flabs are abs made out of french fries. So I do have that magwa on there. So it's gonna print a tiny bit more than uh, something with a more compact grip would. So what we are looking at is this job right here. Now, it's orange, so you can see it's got that uh, carbon fiber orange with a clear front, and I thought that was pretty dang cool. And uh, I like orange, so I got that. Somebody, I posted a picture of it, somebody was like, oh my God, that thing's hideous. Well, I don't care if you don't like orange, get it in the color you like, because he's got a lot of color options out there. I just kind of wanted that because I thought it looked cool and I like orange and you know, that's my thing and I do what I want, especially when it comes to my second amendment rights, just do what I want. So really good work here. Now, when I'm looking at a holster, what I want is typically this design. I want something that's flexible so it kind of moves with your body a little bit. I want something that has mostly hardware that's like screws and fasteners. Not a lot of those kind of hold rivets because if anything's gonna fail from my experience on a holster, it's gonna be those little hold rivets. And this one, I tell you, the finish work on this thing is absolutely awesome. You've got your little claw right there, which is kind of that concealment. Kind of helps it follow the line of your body a little bit better. Go ahead, we're gonna get into this thing, check it out, show you the good work that went into this holster right now. All right, so let's check out this Gerber holster that I got for my 45. MOS, because this is uh, this is what I'm carrying nowadays, pretty much most days uh, out there with me. And uh, pretty dang fun little setup right here. Digging the Gen 5 stuff, got it rigged up with an SLR Magwell and uh, that Tyrant slightly extended mag release, that TLR1HL. Just a really solid setup. So let's go ahead, get into the holster real quick. Um, this obviously not everybody's cup of tea. So it's that clear Kydex and it's got, uh, you know, a carbon fiber orange. It's a little tough to see backer on it, but it's what I liked. I thought it was pretty cool and I thought it would show off the setup pretty well, which it does because you can see it right through the holster. So positive locking, as you can see on there, locks in very nicely. 
it is not coming out of there and you do have tension adjustment in a couple of different places around here so you fit it to your desired tension and then uh, as you can see there you've got that nice claw right there which is double thick matches the holster all the way around and that's going to help keep that concealed and then obviously we can see it is that flexible design uh it's backed by leather pretty cool i actually saw that little cross in there and I actually uh messaged him and said hey are you by chance a christian company he said undoubtedly and undeniably yes we are i thought that was pretty cool it's always uh, hard to find companies these days going to stand up for their beliefs in the modern era of banning and social media outrage and everything so i thought that was pretty cool pretty interesting design here like i said with the clear stuff very form fit very good quality mostly fasteners here so what i mean by fasteners is it's almost all hardware there is one rivet right there not a big deal but if you got a holster that's pretty much like all rivets like that you might have some issues down the road because if something's going to fail or break it's generally that I don't even think they really needed that one there. I think he threw it there just to, just to have it there for a little bit of that additional clamping force. But you got the screws here, the screws here. So definitely good to go. And you've got, uh, like I said, a little bit of tension right here for the magazine, a little bit of tension right there for the actual pistol. But when you get into the finish work right here, I mean, they have just rounded this thing off so well. They've done such a great job rounding and polishing every single corner in here like no other holster company that i have seen um, generally i can find some forms of sharp edges or something around one of these holsters they killed it on this they actually did a really amazing job of fit and finish on here very very concealable very very comfortable a little bit of that protection on the end right there so as your light is in there um, it's got some protection, so if you happen to drop this, it's not going to take a, it's not going to take a beating and break your lens on it. Because as you can see, you've got enough to protect it on there, which is definitely what you need. And then obviously, this is the 45 in here, which has that full length grip, so 19 is going to fit as well. So pretty much got the best of the both worlds. You can get it with several different light options, several different actual. Uh, firearm options completely up to you they've got a pretty good amount of options out there and they uh they are definitely growing solid design here great i was getting mine with that high sweat guard you can get yours wherever you want i get it with that because i live in arizona it is super hot i don't want to be sweating down the back side of that gun all the time this gives, this gives me a little bit of protection there you do have some adjustability here on the clips you can see right there you've got a couple notches to go up and down just remember the higher you wear it, easier to draw, less concealed. Lower in your belt line you wear it, a little bit more difficult to draw, better it conceals. So practice uh, practice out there with it, wear it how you are going to train with it. You should be good to go. Clips are very good quality. I really like the clips like this where you have uh, a kind of a kickback right there on the part that clips over your belt. As you can see right there on both of these clips because that's gonna lock in really well to your belt. So it's not going to come off. Sometimes they're just flat or sometimes it's just a little nub. That really doesn't provide you the protection that you need to keep this locked around your belt when you're wearing it. So we're going to go ahead, finish this up. I'll give you guys one more look at this Gerber holster. As you guys can see, just a nice setup all the way around. Really did a great uh, job on here. Class A job on this. Let's go ahead and finish this review up. So as you all saw when we got into this, this is an absolutely well-made holster. Every line was paid attention to. The detail to the craftsmanship on this is definitely top-notch. I really think as far as the holsters that I own, I think this one probably has the best finish work that I have actually ever seen. I've got some T-Rex stuff, I've got some tuck tight stuff, um, I do have some Bravo concealment stuff, I've got uh, T1C, I've got a bunch of different holsters and some of the Bravo stuff, you know, with the injection mold, the thing they got going on are so clean. But when it comes to actual Kydex work, um, this thing has to be the best one that I've actually personally owned. So I really hope you guys liked learning about this Gerber holster right here. And like I said, I will have a couple more coming and there's a playlist for them that I will link down below for you. You can kind of see all the holsters that I've had or done reviews on because some are good, some are bad. One of the companies like Tuck Tight's not even around anymore. But I think these guys are here to stay and I was kind of surprised that they're following on some social media and that they've actually never really had a whole lot of reviews done. And that's kind of the reason I wanted to get a hold of them because I knew there had to be something there 
when I saw so many people following their pages and leaving comments and stuff about their holsters, but then I just didn't see really a lot of in-depth reviews on them. So it was pretty interesting. Plus, if they're a newer company and they're a little bit cheaper, it's kind of cool to help a company grow in the 2A community that's gonna put out a solid product like this and keep things going. So if you guys like what's going on here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like learning about these and getting some unbiased reviews on things you may be interested in, it might save you a little bit of cash. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. Turn that bell notification icon on so you get the videos when they come out right now. You guys get out there, enjoy some time on the range, get a friend out there with you, take your wife out there, take somebody out there with you to have a little bit of fun. And I will see you guys on the next one.